Well, we've reached the end of the SUNY Chancellor Esports Challenge, and I've definitely felt the energy SUNY-wide. Today, we have a special show for you as we hear from the students' perspective after we interviewed them across several SUNY schools. They're definitely re-energized and recharged after the SUNY Chancellor Esports Challenge. Let's hear from the students as I ask them what this tournament means to them. Chancellor's Challenge was a great opportunity to be able to give back to SUNY Oswego for supporting the uh, Esports Association for as long as they have been. And it was also a like a large scale event for our members to compete in, which is uh, which is something that they you know wouldn't have been able to do this semester in person. So I definitely like jumped at the chance to be able to get my members involved in this. I think it's been an amazing opportunity for everyone involved, um, especially the competitors. It's given a lot of people a chance to really show themselves and show their school and what really represent um, during these hard times, you know. It's actually been incredible that SUNY has been able to create a tournament like this during these times and get everyone connected despite everyone being separate. I personally wasn't even, I guess, interested in esports or just like was involved in it before this tournament even existed. My position like for this tournament for our school was to help run tryouts for to see to get the teams together and to try to just support the teams in any way, answer any questions for them. And it's really changed my college experience, but also has brought me closer to another community that I didn't know that I would have access to, which is the esports community here. To me, esports has been something I've been wanting to go into for, for a very, very long time. And for me personally, this is an opportunity. But for a person looking at the wider scope of things, I've played football for 12 years, basketball, track, field, bowling, all the all, any sport you can think of. And there's never been a place for some of those kids in high school to compete at a level where they could sweat and try as hard as they could they could experience the happiness of winning and crying to such a low to like such a slow and close game and they never got those experiences and they never got to step onto the field and in this situation we're finally bringing those situations and those games and those feelings to these people who didn't really get to have those before because esports wasn't a thing and now collegiate esports is on the rise and now people get to have and share those experiences so what this tournament meant to me was that a bunch of kids who don't really have an opportunity to do anything in tournaments because we're so small, we have no mo like not a lot of money for them, that they got to play and do something real. We had a really interesting time talking to all of the SUNY schools that joined us. And I think the first thing that really surprised me was community. They talked a lot about that, a lot of their answers when we asked them you know, what was it about this esports tournament that meant so much to you? They talked about the inclusivity of it, how they felt connected. What do you guys think about that? Randy, I'd love to hear your opinion from an athletic director perspective. How did that make you feel knowing that this tournament that you helped launch is giving that type of sentiment to these students across the board? Yeah, it was so rewarding to hear from them. Wasn't it just great? And the thing about it was the level of enthusiasm was through the roof. There wasn't anybody who just said, yeah, the tournament was okay, right? You could just sense everybody was so excited about it. And that was just so awesome to see and so rewarding for everybody. And that really came through when they expressed themselves. It was so rewarding to see and bring that enthusiasm and fun. And you could even see it in the faculty and staff that joined us as well. It was through the roof and it was just awesome. Yeah, I totally agree with you. I was super excited to see, like I got excited. I was energized by their energy. Charlie, I would love to hear your perspective as we reflect back on these, on the things that we heard, the comments that were made. What have you seen? What did anything surprise you about their comments related to the inclusivity and community they felt? Yeah, I was actually really pleasantly surprised. Um, usually esports activities and gaming can get pretty intense and some intense emotions can come with that. However, every single message in chat that I've seen has either been supportive or happy or excited. And to have even, you know, I've had people message me saying, you know, this is, this is such a wholesome tournament. Everyone's supporting each other here. And that's kind of the community that I think that these students want to build on their campuses as they continue to build the excitement going forward as well. Yeah, you bring up a good point. Everybody was very respectful. And I think we even made a comment about that with Justin at one point going, wait a second, this is a, this is a competition. Like, we're not friends right now, but everybody mm -hmm. showed excellent sportsmanship and 
that it translates in a virtual world on, in a in Twitch as you know just acknowledging the the plays of the other of the other person through chats and things like that. Well, sharing from personal experience, um, I know the exact feeling that a majority of our our competitors faced uh, in during the during the run of the tournament really opens my eyes to seeing these people you know who 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 love the game and love the game so much that they get themselves in these amazing communities and, and compete together and it is just such an amazing thing to witness you know especially in twitch chat where everyone's super supportive well i have been personally impressed by the level of professionalism leadership initiative and discipline that the students have displayed across SUNY related to their esports programs. So I did ask the students, what can we expect from a growth and initiative perspective for their esports programs at their schools after this esports tournament? SUNY Canton was already kind of like the figurehead of what is collegiate esports could look like. And I think now that um, now that we're a lot of schools are moving in that direction, I think not only will it be the standard for esports programs in general through this tournament, but it also be the standard for the players' representation. I know other schools have, you know, great players who have great manners and they have lots and lots of responsibility and they hold that uh, respect for all their players, but the players at SUNY Canton have been developing themselves too. And beyond that, I think seeing them in the tournament and how they affect others and setting that standard for players in the tournament is, I think, where SUNY Canton is going now is setting a standard for players and their respect for each other it's a lot more competitive now um <laughs> at uh, at suny canton and, and it it definitely got the conversation sparking uh when you know the suny chancellor's challenge came up and a lot of people were looking to compete online and and it's just great to see like these these esports that not a lot of people uh talk about when there's bigger ones like overwatch and league of legends it, it just i just love seeing the hype go around in the, in the smaller communities and it's just amazing to see i've been involved with this with the esports community for many years uh, I started playing Counter-Strike at around 13, 14 years old. I was never really good enough to go pro, but my friends and I still made like a casual team and messed around with um, in competitive and whatnot. And ever since then, I've been hooked on the community. It's been a dream of mine to be part of the esports community. And hopefully after I graduate, I'll be able to do something in the esports sector. But right now and right here, I'm, my, my biggest focus is jumpstarting the esports community, the competitive esports community at Oneonta. We actually were, were able to get one Fortnite team. Uh, we actually we never had any, uh, any like Fortnite presence uh, previously. Um, we got a Rocket League team back together. We have a we did have some Rocket League presence previously, but uh, I was starting to fade a little bit. But this uh, really revitalized our Rocket League presence in the club. Um, they actually, I heard they made it all the way to top eight. Like they, they were really excited to be able to compete in something like this. The fact that there's a SUNY wide esports tournament now is mind boggling to me because we have been working, uh, our club is a separate entity from our school. Um, we, we are, we have been working with TESPA and Game Fuel. Um, and we finally got a few sponsors. So the fact that SUNY is now bringing together a, a, a school, a, a SUNY wide esports tournament really feels like there's so many more opportunities for me. It's just, it's just a really great chance to like put UB esports on the map, you know, like tell everybody, Hey, like esports is a big thing. It's coming up, it's growing. And these, this is the potential of it. This whole thing has just given us like a lot of faith in ourselves to go far with this. This information of what I learned from the tournament and how many different types of games that there are for the esports teams so that we can so that I can finally make a push to have a lot more competitive games out there. Exciting outcomes for the students that have participated in the SUNY Chancellor Esports Challenge. But of course it wouldn't be a proper ending without a shout out. UB, we are SUNY together. Shout out to UB, let's go. UB, all day, horns up, horns up. Yeah. Oneonta. Of course, hashtag uh, ride the dragon, hashtag SUNY together, hashtag Red keep the streak. We got yep. three hashtags over here. <laughs> <laughs> We're going all the way, guys. Uh, let's go Red Dragons. SUNY Oswego, thank you for everything you've done for us. We are SUNY together. See you at Albany, UA you know, we're SUNY together. No SUNY purchase. Uh, yeah, we're SUNY together. I'd like to shout out uh, all of our teams that compete in this tournament, especially our, our Rocket League team and our Fortnite team, and even all of our players who compete in ECAC that weren't in this tournament. Hashtag SUNY together. Jared Fink, Tag Fink, 
F-I-N-K, and I say Hudson Valley is hashtag SUNY together.